In File Operation Interface, choose the file you want to pick and place, and click to mount. Then you will see the interface of mounting. On left side, you will see each board, and you can choose to skip or not. If you want to skip some component on this panel, click on the component you want to start with, and save it. As I'd like to start from the first component as a reference, so I will change back to the default setting. The real-time mounting will be shown on the right side. And you can see the current pressure of nozzle. Speed of each component will be shown accordingly. If you tick Auto Eject, PCB will be ejected automatically once finished the mounting. Press Start to pick and place. Press Step. You can see each movement on machine step by step. Please take note, each time you start to pick and place, please keep the PCB pending to be fit but not ready in the positioning you've set up, or it will be filled to you find the mark point. When the PCB is left on positioning you've set up, you can press Eject PCB front. The PCB will move backwards. Now I will start to mount this file for your reference. From real-time interface, you can see a white rectangle. It is a component. The blue box is a reference value of this component, which you've entered in footprint library. The blue cross marks the center of nozzle. The coordinate is the division value between component center and the nozzle center. It will help to offset the division automatically.